What's up, y'all? My name's Taylor. I'm from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and this is 115. There's nothing in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's she look? Gorgeous! Good morning, spare tires and funeral pyres. For those of you who, uh, Saw yesterday, yes, we had a casualty, we had a tragedy in our family. I lost my lens, my favorite vlogging lens. Let me tell you the story of how it happened. So after the show last night, we were all cleaning up the chairs and everything, and you have to stack chairs on these, like, things, like you do with chairs, right? And there's all of us performers, Sweet Bear's there, and then there's a couple employees from the theater that are also working. And we're organizing all of these stacks of chairs over in a corner. And all of a sudden, I look over, and I hear someone go, oh no. I look over, and an entire stack of chairs has fallen over onto this employee that was stacking them in the corner. And not only did they fall on her, but they also fell on the camera. And the lens was just shattered, and the camera doesn't turn on anymore, and it was just, it was wrecked, it was a mess. And the employee, she felt so bad about it, and I told her, I was like, don't feel bad, I needed a new one anyway, because I've had that camera for a long time, so whatever. And I was a bit upset about it, but at the end of the day, I, if I use this thing every day, I'm kind of asking for it, right? So this morning, I got up, I went to the camera store, I bit the bullet, and I bought a new lens, and bought a new camera, and everything like that, so. Say goodbye to favorite vlogging lens. Goodbye. Okay, so my sister is on her way over right now. She's coming over, we're gonna make breakfast and just hang out for a little bit because we don't get to see her enough. Sis, what'd you bring? I brought a cantaloupe. <laughs> Buckets, you ready to go? You ready to go? All right, Kayla's gone. Here. Keys? Thank you. Buckets, come here. Kayla's gone. Buckets. We're hopping in the car. Buckets. Because Buckets mm -hmm. is about to go to his first puppy class. Warning, Buckets overload about to happen on the vlog. Don't say I didn't warn you. Buckets, come. So much fun. Was it fun? Did you make friends? Tell me what was your favorite part? First day of school. Here comes mommy. How was it? I thought you did really good. And mommy got you a little surprise. Oh no. Because you did so good on your first puppy class. <laughs> <laughs> Not the tag. Because you always are laughing so hard you're crying. All right, back home. We're going back home now, is what I mean. We have a riveting, I mean riveting Saturday night planned. <laughs> Just wait. Mm. Good morning, or evening. Honestly, I don't know what came over me. I just got home and then I was so exhausted, I just like went to sleep. Needed a little nap, listen to my body. So I wanna break down for you all something that I learned today or something that I'm currently learning and working through and chewing on in my mind. When we were at puppy class, it became very apparent to me very quickly that we weren't really training the dogs as much as we were training 
us. We weren't teaching the puppies as much as we were teaching ourselves how to teach the puppies. The owner actually has to be more disciplined than the puppy. The puppy might not know what the command or the intention is, but as long as the owner is clear on it, the puppy will follow suit. And to me, this was a really clear, strong metaphor for leadership in general. I'm getting ready in a couple months to lead three summer camps with over 100 students each week and a team of 12 to 14 staff members that I am being asked to lead. And I think a lot of times as leaders, we get this idea that we have to train our team or we have to teach our team or our team has to know what the goals and intentions are. But the reality is, is that the best leaders are the ones who are the most disciplined themselves. The best leaders teach themselves. The best leaders are the ones who are clear with the goal, the vision, the intention, and then the team follows suit. Now this isn't to say that if you're a mom, you should train your kids like dogs, or if you own a business, you should treat your employee like a puppy. That's not what I'm saying. You see, when there was a problem in puppy class, whenever I felt that Buckets wasn't getting something, it was really easy for me to be like, why aren't you getting this? But actually, what I needed to be doing in that moment is I need to be asking myself, what am I not doing or what am I doing to make this command unclear? Maybe the problem isn't the puppy. Maybe the problem is the way the owner is communicating. And so what I'm saying is, is that if you're running into trouble in your leadership, whether it be in a business, whether it be at school, whether it be with a team you lead or coach or whether it be with your children, maybe the problem that you're running into, it's not the team. Maybe you need to take a look inside and say, what am I doing wrong? How am I not being disciplined? How am I not communicating this vision clearly enough? By the way, when I said that Sweet Bear and I have like a really rowdy Saturday night planned, I didn't mean that I was gonna go home and take a nap. That was an accident. What I meant was that we were gonna go home and just do a bunch of work. Sweet Bear's got a lot of calligraphy orders to do. I have new speaking engagements to prepare for, working on new stuff for the bookstore, writing the new book. We just got a lot of stuff to do. So in order to take the day off totally tomorrow, we're gonna buckle down and work hard tonight. So I apologize if the vlog is super boring from here on out. If anything interesting does happen, it will be on the other side of this hand. All right, we're at dinner now. We're not at dinner. We don't go out. We're on the whole 30. Uh, we're having zucchini noodles. Zucchini sketti. Zu sketti. What is it? Spaghetti zoodles. Zoodle, spaghetti zoodles. Something like that. We're eating this. Delicious. And uh... <laughs> <laughs> Not that We're watching Mockingjay part two, cause we never saw it. I still don't know how it yeah, ends. John doesn't know how it ends. I still don't know I how. Never finished the book. <laughs> Can you give a guess? I think everybody dies. Everyone? I don't know. This will probably be the rest of our night. As I said before, if anything more interesting happens, you'll find out on the other side of this hand. Nothing interesting happened for the rest of the night. <laughs> Keep being awesome. <laughs> they all died in Hunger Games. No, they didn't.